So I think by now, pretty much anybody that watches YouTube is familiar with the name Shane Dawson. I mean, he's one of the most recognizable faces on YouTube. He's been around for over a decade at this point. The dude has almost 25 million subscribers on YouTube. That's not really a small feat. Well, last night on Twitter, Shane Dawson pretty much started this whole drama involving the beauty and makeup community. He basically got himself canceled on Twitter for what he tweeted last night. It's a wild situation. And he even caused people to start making conspiracies that all of the drama inside of the makeup and beauty community on YouTube is entirely faked and the whole point of it is just to sell more makeup and pad the pockets of all these creators. Now how this whole situation started is when Shane Dawson randomly tweeted this at 11 p.m. last night. He tweeted my final thoughts on the beauty world. And this tweet has since been deleted but this is basically four pages of him stirring up drama in the makeup community and one of the main things he does here is he pretty much attacks James Charles. I'm sure most of you guys remember the whole situation with James Charles and Toddy Westbrook over, uh, what, like two years ago now? I think it's one of the biggest situations in YouTube's history. I mean, that one situation was the whole reason YouTube started abbreviating sub counts. But here's a tweet that pretty much explains what Shane Dawson said about James Charles here, which is pretty wild. I wouldn't really expect Shane Dawson to just blatantly attack someone like this. It's kind of uh, ridiculous. But this says, Shane Dawson addresses accusations that he conspired with Toddy Westbrook for her video. Says he knew about it, but had no involvement. Now, this is a quote from his little, like, four-page tweet that he put up last night, and this says, Do I think James is the devil? No. Do I think he was a young, egocentric, power-hungry guru who needed to be served a slice of humble pie? Yes. I mean, it's as if Shane completely forgot what that whole Toddy Westbrook and James Charles situation was, because that wasn't, quote, getting served a slice of humble pie. That was his name getting slandered and having the whole internet turn their back on him. That was people jumping on a hype train and cancel culture just trying to end someone's career over virtually nothing just because they saw, you know, an exposing video on YouTube. So he definitely should have left that part out there. I think he might have just forgotten what that whole situation was or something. I don't know. I just, th th that, that was, he should have left that out. Now here's the top response on Shane Dawson's tweet from last night before it was deleted, obviously. And this says, girl, this was not the move. Now, first off, you're calling a grown man girl, but I guess we're going to let that one slide. But yeah, just to clarify, you just called a 30 year old grown man girl, but it says this was not the move if you really want to help yourself. I used to love your content for conspiracy theories, but I guess it's time to let Shane go with the rest of the old creators. And I'm not really sure what she's referencing there when she says, I guess it's time to let Shane go with the rest of the old creators. I, I don't really know what that means at all, but that reply there has almost 4,000 likes alone. And here's the craziest part of this whole situation, which is the fact that about 12 hours before Shane Dawson made this tweet, where he started all this drama for seemingly no reason whatsoever, just 12 hours before he started all this drama, he had restocked his makeup line with Jeffree Star. You know, his conspiracy makeup line that raked in millions of dollars last time it launched? So I'm not saying this is true or anything like that, but it's just a weird coincidence that he stirs up this drama about 12 hours after the re-release of his makeup line. You know, he starts all this drama that gets himself trending on Twitter and all this stuff immediately after he re-releases a makeup line, which would kind of work out as a perfect marketing scheme for the makeup. It's just kind of a weird coincidence, I guess. And then immediately after he gets his five seconds and he's trending on Twitter and you know everybody's talking about him he immediately backpedals deletes his tweets puts out an apology so that he looks good and people are just looking at his makeup line I mean like I said it's probably not true it's just a conspiracy thing it's, it's some tinfoil hat stuff really but it is just kind of weird how it works out the pieces just kind of fit together perfectly there but anyway I think that's where we're gonna wrap up this video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel as always you can follow me on Twitter at relaxyt and other than that I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.